And a big talk about story, a new law in Missouri is giving some parents an opportunity for school choice. Our Missouri Chief Capital Bureau reporter Emily Manley is breaking down what an education savings account is and what it means for students and parents in Missouri. Emily. Well, Vic, this school choice legislation, better known as ESAs, allows donors to provide donations in order to provide scholarships for students. Now, this is a program that some lawmakers have been working on for more than a decade, and it gives parents the choice on where to send their student. I think COVID uh, and all the shutdowns exposed to parents some of the real weaknesses in our traditional approach to education. For some, it's a tax credit. While for students and parents, it's a chance at a choice. Allow them to access an alternative uh, in the private sector that better fits the needs of their family and their child. Republican Representative Phil Cristofanelli sponsored the legislation that received the governor's signature last month. If there is a quality education right next door to where these kids are going to school uh, and the only obstacle is that they can't afford the tuition, uh, the state can step in. The program is called Education Savings Account, better known as ESAs. Donors make a contribution to certain nonprofits to receive a 100% tax credit, while parents apply for the scholarships. Students prioritized are those receiving free and reduced lunch and those with special needs. The treasurer is going to be able to audit all these organizations receiving the funds. Becky Ucello's daughter, Isabella, was born with spina bifida. The playground was not accessible. So we were told that she could play on the grass, and we were told that they really couldn't do anything for just one student. Years ago, Becky took on two extra jobs to move her daughter from a Springfield public school to private. We had had an opportunity for ESAs in kindergarten. I wouldn't have felt the pressure to scramble to find other ways of income. Izzy is now entering fifth grade. Having a variety of options really is the way to go because then parents can decide, you know, I know my kid the best. I know what's going to work for them. Now, shortly after the governor signed the bill, the Missouri School Board Association released a statement that said that they were disappointed that taxpayer dollars would be going to funding private institutions. The treasurer's office has not yet released details on when ESAs would be available for students. Reporting live tonight from Missouri State Capitol Bureau in Jefferson City, I'm Emily Manley, Fox 2 News.